played on a course consisting of 18 separate challenges. But the game is learned on the practice team. Hi, I'm Tim Ware and welcome to the practice team. An old Scott once told me that advice was the cheapest commodity on the golf course. Well, I've found this to be true. When you're hitting it sideways out there, there's no end to the number of people who are willing to tell you what you're doing wrong. The secret is to find somebody that knows what they're talking about, and that, and that can be difficult. Well, I've got a golf analyst here on the show that uh, is not only a great player, but he's also a great teacher of the game and a great conveyor of thoughts as well as a great analyst of, of what people are doing wrong. That man is Don Peterson. Don is, uh, right now, is at the City Club in Marietta where he has a golf school he calls the Swing Factory. Don's uh, philosophy of teaching is rather unique. Don, tell us a little bit about the Swing Factory. Well, Tim, what I've found over the years in teaching, uh, most of my students have the same problem. They all swing with the wrong muscles in the, in the wrong sequence. So what I try to do is I try to retrain those muscles. And uh, what I've found that works the best is taking the club away and taking the ball away and uh, retraining their muscles without their old swing in being involved. Don, you also incorporate a lot of interesting uh, teaching aids in your, right. in your school. Uh, a lot of marvelous toys. Where does he get all those wonderful toys? <laughs> Where do you get all those toys and what are they? Uh, you can pick them up everywhere. You know, when, when you take the club and the ball away, you've got to keep their attention. And, and uh, I use a lot of different uh, things for the muscle training. I use a medicine ball and a punch bowl and I use uh, what's commonly referred to as a tee ball mm -hmm. in baseball. Now, uh, you've done a lot of work with some people out at Emory University about this. Right, right. I met uh, the physical therapist out there and uh, um, she took me out there and I actually taught a class for them and then I, in return, um, received a lot of information that was valuable to me. Well, they have some kind of funny name for this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's called proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Uh, you might have heard of PNF stretches. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Proprioceptive <laughs> neuro facility. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We do that a lot at uh, at my house. <laughs> the idea of our show is not to sell you a videotape or a swing aid or anything like that. All we want to do is give good golf instruction. In fact, what we want to do is we want to invite people in our audience to send us a videotape of your golf swing. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to invite you to come on our show and take a lesson from Don Peterson. In fact, Don, the philosophy of our show is really... Well, if you're serious about golf, but not too serious about life, then you're the type of person we want on our show. <laughs> That's exactly right. Hey, stay with us, and when we come back, we're going to go out and meet our first victim. <laughs> Our guest today is Johnny Andrews. Johnny works for a printing company here in Atlanta and he's having some problems with his swing. Johnny, what kind of handicap do you carry? Uh, 25 handicap. 25? How many years have you been playing golf? Two years. Two years? Um, do you have a lot of time to practice? No, sir. No? How about play? What, how often do you play? Play once a week. Okay. All right. And uh, it looks like you slice it. Is that right? Pretty good. That's a common problem, so uh, maybe we can show some people out there uh, how to fix that. Okay. All right, why don't you hit a few shots and we're going to study it. Okay. The first visible error in Johnny's swing is the improper use of his hands to start the club away from the ball. By starting the swing in this fashion, Johnny is relying on the smaller muscles of his arms and hands instead of the larger muscles of his hips and torso. At the top of his swing, you can see a classic example of a reverse weight transfer. As the line shows, Johnny's upper torso tilts over his left hip and leg instead of correctly over his right, as most professionals and low handicappers do. From this angle, you can clearly see the reason why Johnny's motion and positions are all wrong. Watch his right leg. During the backswing, it straightens. 
Keeping the flex in the right knee and hip is a primary objective when learning proper weight transfer. As a result of Johnny's straight right leg, he is unable to use his hips and legs and the ground for power. Well, Johnny, after analyzing your swing, uh, I've seen a couple problems that I see quite often. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take the club away from you. Okay. Because okay? we need to train you uh, without you hitting golf balls. Because okay. what we're going to do is we're going to retrain your muscles. Now, you're going to start right with your belly button. Okay. You're going to shift the weight into your right hip. You're going to feel like the weight immediately comes off that left heel. Okay. Okay. And your left knee will fall in just a little bit. So keep that ball right in front of you. Start turning to the right. Okay, you moved your upper body first. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. I want you to move the weight off of this first. Go ahead and start. There it is. Okay, now go real slow. Keep that ball right in front of you, and you're only going to turn a short distance. There you go. That ball only moves because your belly button's moving, not because your arms are moving. That's pretty good there. Okay, again. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Now, one of the things I want you to avoid, go ahead and turn again. Don't let this foot come out like that, okay? I know okay. there's a lot of people watching, and that might be one of their problems, okay? What we want, go ahead and start over. Now, this ankle should fall in. Go ahead and turn. There you go, just like that. Just falls right in, just like that. It's perfect. Now, you don't feel any pressure on your left side when you turn, do you? No. Go ahead and turn again. Now, you feel how the pressure has come off here? Right. That's good. Okay, Johnny, this is a, a punch bowl. This is one of the drills I, I think I'm becoming famous for. Okay. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stick your seat out. We're going to do the exact same drill, okay, okay. except for a, a couple different thoughts here. Go ahead and stick your seat out and flex your knees. Now, you always have too wide of a stance, so I want you to keep your, the, the stance a little bit narrow, especially for the drills. Okay. Now, turn that left foot open a little bit more because we're going to uh, turn through eventually. Okay. Now, in this drill, I want you to pretend like it's full of punch, okay, okay right up to the brim. And you're going to turn to the right, just like you did with the, with the heavy weight, okay, right. the medicine ball. And you're going to feel exactly the same thing, except for I want you to pretend like this is full punch and you're not going to spill any. Okay, so just turn right to here. Now, when you turn like that, again, we're promoting use of larger muscles and not small muscles. So you, when you're taking the club away, you're using all these small muscles in your wrists and your hands and uh -huh. your arms, okay? And that, that's a very inconsistent takeaway. If we had a compass here, and I put a needle down in the middle of the compass here, and I started moving it in a circle, if the needle doesn't move, that pencil makes a perfect circle around the outside. Well, that's kind of what we're promoting here. You're turning right from your center here, two inches behind your belly button. That's where your rotation's coming from. Okay. And that's going to cause your club head, okay, to make a perfect circle. I'm going to grab a club here and show you what I mean. Go ahead and start, start back. Now, you can just pretend like that club is connected to your belly button. You see what we're doing there? Okay, Johnny, uh, we've worked on the backswing a little bit. Now, we also need to work on your through swing because when you swing back with your arms, you also swing down with your arms. Okay. Okay, so um, now you're learning to take the club away more with your body on the back swing. We want to do the same thing on the down swing. We want to take the club through with our body. Okay, so I'm okay. going to give you one drill here, and I think you'll, you'll pick up on it pretty easy. You've played some sports in, your, in the past. A few. Right? Football, basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so you've got some good athletic ability. We want to use that. We want to use your, your ability to transfer your weight and use your big, your powerful muscles. Okay. okay. And what I want you to do is keep your hands on your stomach just like that. Okay. Narrow your stance a little bit more. Okay. Now, you see how this foot's square? I need you to turn that foot to the left a little bit so we can turn through okay. a lot easier and face the target because that's, that's what's going to happen. You're going to turn and face the target on your, on your, during your golf swing. Okay. Okay. So I want your right knee now to come forward and hit the bat up here as you turn and face the target. That's perfect. Now, when you turn forward like that, did you feel yourself stand tall? Stand straight Yeah, up. that's what you should do. Go ahead and turn through again and stand up tall. There you go. Now, your stomach and your chest face the target. All of your weight is on the, the left heel, maybe a little bit to the outside of right. the foot. Yeah, that's right. And you feel all the pressure come off of this foot and this leg, don't right. you? Okay, good. Do that one more time. Snap through there quick this time. There you go. Now, when I say do it one more time and try to feel your balance, narrow your stance. There you go. Snap through there fast and feel that balance. There you go. Now, when I tell you right knee through, this is the feeling I want you to have. You're going to go right knee through and face the target, just like that. Right knee through. Right knee through. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to add the club. Okay, Johnny, here's a, a shortened club. And the reason why I shortened it is we're going to have you hit wiffle balls off of a table in just a minute. Okay. But what I want you to do is just take your grip and hold it in your arms just like that. Okay? And your grip is, is fine. Now, Narrow your stance, we're going to go through the right knee through drill again, okay? Go ahead and turn through, right knee comes forward and up, that's good. Okay, now, that was perfect, what I want you to do is lower the club down. Now I want you to feel like you're pushing the club head with your right hip and your right knee. Okay, go ahead and push it through, perfect, perfect. Do that one more time. This time you're going to push through and then salute, let your elbows relax. Now that's going to be your follow through position, a little bit more relaxed there. Okay, okay. start over, 
Now we're going to put it down a little bit lower. And guess what? We're going to add the punch bowl backswing, okay? Okay. So I want you to pretend like you've got the punch bowl in your hands. Turn back to right here. No, no, no. You didn't use your wrist when you had the punch bowl. Okay. Did you? Your wrists are just sitting there. Your arms are just sitting there. The club is just sitting there waiting on your belly button to move, okay? Move that punch bowl right to the right. There you go. Okay, now right knee through and let your elbows relax. That's perfect. Okay, now how did you move that club? You moved it from your belly button, didn't oh, you? Belly Two inches behind your, your belly button is your center of mass. So you take it to the right, you take it to the left, and the club's going to go with you. Okay, go to the right, now go to the left, and relax. Good. Okay, now all we need to do now is add a little bit of swing in your wrists. Okay? So you just hold it nice and light. Now you punch bowl to the right, let it hinge up here, and then right knee through. That's a great motion. And what we've done is we've changed your swing completely because now you're using what? Lower using back. Lower back instead yeah, of my arms. Instead of your arms. And you're, you're using your hip muscles and your leg muscles. And you're also using the ground. I don't know if you can tell, but you get your leverage from the ground down there because you do that little dance step. Okay. And that's what happens. Left heel up, right heel up. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to add the table and let you hit a few balls. Are you All ready? Right. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You're getting a little right to left there, aren't you? Yes, sir. How long has it been since you've seen that? Uh, never. Never? <laughs> I don't play that side of the fairway. All right. Okay. Keep this right hand right there, and, and keep that left wrist flat as you turn. Go ahead and punch bowl. Hold it right there. That's perfect. Now, we want to keep you from tilting. Feel that difference okay. in the weight transfer? You're a little bit more over your right side, aren't you? Yes, sir. And you, feel, you don't feel like you're tilted here. Don't you feel like you're just facing me right here? See, I don't want you feeling like you're tilting back this way. See the difference? I want you over your right leg. That's perfect. Now you're going to feel much flatter back here. That's okay. Okay, hold it right there. Now, you're getting that weight a little bit outside of this foot again. Go ahead and set up. I want you to keep the weight on the inside. Put the club right up here. Okay, go ahead and start it back around. Okay, you're lifting. Don't lift. Go ahead and start over. Nope, put the club up in the air. There you go. Now keep this thing waist high as you turn. Go ahead and start turning. That's how I want your swing to feel. You feel how you're down inside that right leg right, right there? That's where I want you to feel, okay? Now take it around just like that. Don't use, any, don't use those arms. Take it around, there you go. Now see how much more you hook it there? A lot. Okay. Hold it right there, take that out of your hands. You're sneaking outside that right leg still. Go ahead and turn. I want you to keep the weight on the inside. Do it one more time. Turn to here. Whoops, see how you're rocking outside that I foot? I feel that. Keep it on the inside. Turn. There you go. Feel like you just turn your waist. There it is. Now you feel the weight come off your left heel at the same time this time. Good. Again. There it is. Okay, now do the exact same motion with that club in your hand. There you go. Now just turn. Okay, Johnny, we're all the way down on the ground, but I don't want you to think that yet. Okay. Okay? I want you to think like you're hitting this golf ball up here. All, all right. right. So go ahead and set up. I want you to put the club right up here. Okay. Well, let's practice taking the club away from here. Hold it. Start it with your hands. Now start away with your belly button, your left heel, and leave the club sitting there just for a second. There you go. That feels very low, doesn't it? It's real low. Okay, now take it around like that and arch your left wrist. That's perfect. Okay, now put the club down to the ball here. But I want you to focus your attention up at this ball, and I'll take it around at this one, and then down through the other one. Good swing. Do it again. Around and down. Hitting a little draw there. Okay, now this time I want you to swing through with your right knee. You ready? Around, and then take the right knee through. Good. Okay, take that right knee through this time and finish up strong. Turn that right hand to the right a little bit. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, that is just wonderful. Unbelievable. Well, buddy, did he do you some good? Yeah, the world again. <laughs> That's great. Maker. Well, Johnny, we really want to thank you for coming on and being our guest this week. I want to thank you, Ann. Okay. Thank you. All right. And, Pleasure uh, working with you. I hope it costs some of your friends some money on Saturday. Well, if he can help me, he can help anybody. <laughs> <laughs> great. Listen, the practice team will be back after these messages.
Don, the other day I was out at the swing factory and you were talking to some people about uh, grip pressure and centrifugal force and actually taking the hands out of the equation right. for the swing. Explain to us a little bit about what you were talking about. Well, Tim, if you took a record player and you took a penny out of your pocket and you put it on the bottom of the platter, let, let's say 6 o'clock position, mm -hmm. you reach over and you turn that record player on to 78 RPM, that would be the fastest speed. That penny would go around about half a turn and then centrifugal force would make it fly off the platter. Right. Let's say it flew off at 1 o'clock up there. Okay, If I stop that record player, pick up the penny, put it back at 6 o'clock, turn it on to the same speed, same thing's going to happen. It's going to fly off at 1 o'clock again. Okay, That's just centrifugal force. Mm -hmm. Let me demonstrate how that happens in the golf swing. All right, I'll step out here. I'm going to take these three balls. I'm going to be a human turntable. Okay, I'm going to turn my body back and forth. I'm going to let my arm be the platter on the turntable. The ball is going to be just like the penny. I'm going to take it back here. I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm going to be free with it. I'm going to put the ball at 6 o'clock, turn on my body, and the ball flies out at 1 o'clock. Now I'm going to put it back here again at 6 o'clock, turn it on, the ball flies out at 1 o'clock. The ball is going to go out in the same direction every time as long as I just allow it to be free. Okay? Hand me one more ball there, Tim. Now, if I have the golf ball in my hand and I have grip pressure, if I close my fingers and control the ball, now when I put it back at 6 o'clock and I turn through, I have to let go of it. Now I have to uh, have timing in my golf swing. When I turn through, I have to determine when to let go of it. And if I let go of it too soon, it goes to the right. And if I let go of it too late, it goes to the left. So now I have to time when to let go of it. I don't know about you, Tim, but what I want in my golf swing is centrifugal force, not control. Okay, now I'd like to use a club to demonstrate. Um, in my lessons, a lot of times I take a grip with two fingers and a thumb, and I hold it just like this with no control at all. I'm barely able to hang on to the club as I swing. Um, this probably reminds you of maybe the uh, old swing of Bobby Jones or Ben Hogan, or modern day, I, I kind of think of Payne Stewart, how free he is with the club. So I'm going to hold this club with two fingers and a thumb. I'm going to turn back and through, and just allow the club to be totally free. And just watch how the club can hit the golf ball without any effort other than just turning the body back and through. Good height. The same problems occur in both amateurs and pros. Here's Don working with former PGA Tour professional Bill Bergen. You look a little bit quick at the top. Don't just relax just a little bit top. Let everything on. hinge a little bit more. Let me see one more. I'm watching your leg work too. I feel like I'm getting slightly stuck on the right side. Yeah, I noticed that too. As far as that goes, I just watched that one. Mm -hmm. Your right leg pulled back just a touch. Right when you started your swing, your right leg pulled back straight about and too straight. Yeah, not, not quite straight, but enough that I think it hurt you. I'd just stay down in it a little bit longer during the takeaway. You might be able to fire out of it better. That looked perfect. That feel a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. coiled. Yeah, I did. I tried to keep the knee flex the same throughout the backswing. I see Tim Ware coming. Don't tell him anything that we're talking about. I just wish there are no secrets. I just wish <laughs> that, tell him the that I could have the bad ones. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is Bill Bergen. He's the head pro down here at Harbor Club. That's this one. <laughs> this one right here, Bill. We want to thank you so much for having us down here. Well, and, it's my uh, pleasure, Tim. Well, you're a, not only a, a gentleman, but a great player, and it's been uh, a real pleasure watching you pound these golf balls. I can't believe that's a six iron. Let me see that. <laughs> oh, oh, this it's a three iron that he's having a six <laughs> stamped on the bottom of it. I see that's now. That's right. That's how the pros hit the ball a little bit farther than everybody else. <laughs> have this weighed and analyzed. This metal is not not steel. This has got to be some form of kryptonite or something. I don't know. Anyway, buddy, thank you, and thanks to Milton Abel and Scott Ibison for uh, having us down here. If you're in and around the Atlanta area and you're looking for a wonderful place to come and play golf, there's no better place than the Harbor Club. It's, it's really a beautiful, beautiful track. Uh, Tom Weisskopf design. Tom Weisskopf and Jay Morris. And Jay Morris. And uh, well, it's ranked high in the state, isn't it? I believe it is. It's We're in the top ten. in the top 25 in the state right now, but we're just just getting established here in Georgia, and we've been nominated for the top 100 golf courses in the country. Yeah, it's one you of the best I've played. <laughs> you can't beat that, buddy. Thanks again for having us. Why don't we uh, watch you pound a few more? Okay. Thanks, Tim. What's he doing?
Never mind. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Do you?